What is going on Dallas? My name is Alex Zamaripa, your favorite Dallas real estate agent. In this video, we're checking out this beautiful brand new construction home out here in Cedar Hill, Texas, which is only about 30 minutes away from downtown Dallas. Honestly, this house is only about 25 or 20 minutes from downtown Dallas, just because we're so close to the highway. But this home was, like I mentioned, it's a new construction home. It has four bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and really close to 2,200 square feet. It is currently priced at $480,000. Um, but guys, this house is really, really nice. You have these modern features, um, and not, not too modern, right? But it's just has those modern touches and details, right? The, the light colored flooring, the light colored paint as well. The really bright colors just throughout. But as always, y'all, if there is anything in the world that I can help with, for example, if you're thinking about moving to Dallas, feel free to give us a call. And don't forget to check out the links below to begin your free home search in the Dallas area. So come on in and let's check it out. Okay guys, so as soon as you walk in, first of all, you do have, like I said, these beautiful hardwood floors as well on the flooring. And it's just, it's in that nice neutral toned uh, color, which is really, really popular right now and trendy. You have the light colored um, walls as well. It's like a grayish blue, um, which is personally, personally not my taste, but um, it's not bad looking either. <clears throat> you do have like everything. I mean, the house is brand new, right? Okay. And those nice trendy uh minimalistic light fixtures that you find in a lot of these new houses as well decent sized closet here in this first bedroom okay and so i mean you do have this nice open floor plan which i'm sure you guys hear all the time but it's just what's trendy right now it's really nice i mean you can't you can't really complain it's it's, it's really really nice just from the kitchen you oversee everything here okay and now let's check out the other two secondary bedrooms so you have this one here really well sized okay Yeah, this is pretty generous when it comes to the uh, the actual bedroom size here. This closet isn't as big as the other one that we just saw, but it's not too shabby either. Okay. And then right, right over here, separating the two bedrooms, you have a full bathroom, the, the first full bathroom. Yeah. You have your subway tile there. Okay. And the third secondary bedroom, okay? I'm telling y'all, these are really well sized, especially this one here. I mean, this reminds me almost, I thought this was gonna be the masters when I first walked into the house, um, just because of the size in here. You do have that closet that's really similar to the other one we just saw, right? All right, so. Now, obviously the kitchen is, we've already seen it a few times, but it's really nice. With this beautiful white, uh, looks like quartz there. Okay. These white cabinets too, just to kind of show you some of the interior in there. Okay. And of course, you do have the pantry in here. All right. Okay, so first of all, you do have access to the garage, which I'm gonna show you here. It's just a, just a standard two-car garage, obviously with the water heater there, the electrical panel as well, and then access to the attic up there.
And then you do have the utility room here, the washer and dryer room. Yeah. And last but not least, of course, the main bedroom. Primary bedroom, right? The masters, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice and well-sized, but all of these bedrooms are really, really well-sized. Okay. You do have here a walk-in shower, similar design bathrooms. I mean, as yeah, the similar design bathroom as the previous one, just with um, two different sinks there. But... Uh, And, of course, you have the really, really large walk-in closet for the primary bedroom. And, of course, how could I forget the actual patio of the house? It's not the biggest yard, right? But uh, with a lot of these new homes, you don't really get the biggest yards. But it's not too bad either. Okay, comes all the way over here to the side of the house, right about there. And trust me, it feels a lot bigger in person than it actually looks on the camera. Now, y'all, that is pretty much it for this tour. It's a beautiful house, in my opinion. Not my favorite, but it's a nice looking house out here in Cedar Hill, Texas, only about 25, 20 minutes away from downtown Dallas, without traffic, of course. Now we are in a what you would what most would call a gentrified area. This community has a lot of older homes with some new houses appearing every now and then. But still, Cedar Hill is not a terrible place to live. It's actually a really nice suburb out here. Not the most highly regarded school district, however. I will be honest and transparent about that, but not the lowest regarded either. But as always, y'all, if there is anything in the world that I can help out with, feel free to reach out, especially if you're thinking about moving out to Dallas, Texas. But as always, thank you for watching. Until next time.